We're live for WWD over the edge. Of course, this story going to explain why we're here all of a sudden instead of going through the other pay-per-views. But, of course, we are live from none other than Columbus, Ohio. Let's get this home show of, underway. Home of 21 Pilots. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome WWD CEO and FNX CEO, the Destroyer, DL. DL coming out here to explain why we're at Over the Edge so early. We had a bunch of pay-per-views, but... Alright. Kind of shocked that we're at Over the Edge just quickly and not, you know, going through Hell in a Cell and going through TLC and going through all the other papers we had set up, but... Time on... Um, breaks fourth wall, so fire me already. Time on 2K19 has kind of been cut short with the servers being shut down, so we're rolling the big pay-per-views that we had left into one. This WWD Over the Edge will be, well, Over the Edge, obviously, the Royal Rumble and the Elimination Chamber match in one. The match next will be the Elimination Chamber match. The winner of that will go on to the main event of WWD WrestleMania 2 to face Dawson for the Hounds Championship or whoever the Hounds Champ is. But the main event is the 30 man over the top rope Royal Rumble. And the thing with that is the winner of that also goes to face on Dawson. Meaning that there is a guaranteed triple threat match in the main event of Mania for the WWD Hounds Championship. On top of that, I am going to enter myself into the rumble. On top of that, the Elimination Chamber Carnage has entered himself. Therefore, meaning the triple threat match at Mania could very well be all FNX members against one another. Either way, there's going to be a lot of surprises here for Over the Edge. Going to be a lot of chaos, a lot of mayhem. And how this is going to work, we'll have one more episode of WWD next, and then Mania. So I guess let's get this show underway. Oh, and by the way, those 30 other guys that think they're going to stop, or 29 other guys that think they're going to stop me, good luck. Each and every one of you can try your hardest, but the fact of the matter is I'm still the destroyer, I'm still the king of hounds, I'm still the reaper of death, I'm still the overlord, I'm still everything in one. I don't care if I enter first or last, I will eliminate every single one of you if I have to, and I will punch my ticket to mania. Mark my words. Let's get this show underway. Very determined. Fired up as always as let's get into the action. As this should get interesting real quick. Of course, three arenas, that's how big this pay-per-view is. We are now over here. Well, normal over the edge, that's in Cincinnati, Ohio. Or no. Right? Cincinnati? I don't know, somewhere in Ohio. Uh, Columbus. Columbus, that's what it was. And now we We're are here, over here, today. Chicago, Illinois, for the chamber matches. We're in a studio right now. The following contest is the Elimination Chamber match. The winner of this will move on to face Dawson in the Triple Threat. At WrestleMania, first, make his word of the ring. He is the architect, Seth Frickin' Rollins! Mr. Burn It Down himself with the pyro. Mania season has emerged, which means all the stops will be pulled out. And next, he is Ash Kitchum! Oh boy. He really hasn't done much in his career. Not at all. Jeff, oh wow. Or maybe not. We don't even know anymore. And next, he is Willow. <laughs> Jeff's alternate persona, Willow, out to play. See what Willow can do in this match. Oh, is this man? And next he is the Twisted Savior, 
one half of the WWD Tag Team Champions, Carnage! With Boomer and Tow with the Red Hood themed attire. Who the Could heck? You go to the main event of WrestleMania. Oh my god! Holy! Holy crap! That what? Oh my god! And next! Warlow! Is war. war the power bomb symphony has arrived? Wardlow, phenomenal AEW roster member, now come to WWD. Of course, his former uh, employer MJF has a match for the Monster Energy World Title later tonight. As Grimm's back. And next he is Grim. It's been it's been a hot minute since we've seen him. Grim got destroyed in the Carnage or Strike, I can't remember which one it was. And then just like never showed his face again. Is Wardlow and Grim facing off two behemoths? Is it's a German by Grim? Wardlow, huge entry here. And debut. Only downside is debuting this point in WWD. It's what's the point? Season two is almost at an end. We almost are done with it. Two shows left. So I mean, if you're gonna make a name for yourself, you better do it pretty gosh dang quick. Do it fast, yeah. Not many opportunities left for some of these either new up and coming guys or these kind of lower rated guys. Grim with a stomp as the next entry into the Elimination Chamber comes in. Wardlow kicks Grim off. Carnage, Ash, Ketchum, Willow, and or Rollins as it will be Willow. Willow entering next year. Willow, of course, alter ego of Jeff Hardy. Wrestled on Impact, then uh, just disappeared for a while. Now has finally made his way over to WWD. I have good feelings about Wardlow, possibly. I mean, Wardlow's, Wardlow's pretty good talent, so... Oh my god! Manhandling Willow. And Grim. Taking out both Wardlow and Jeff Hardy, or er, uh, not Jeff Hardy, Willow there, sorry, my bad. As the next entry about to come in, it will either be Seth Rollins, be. Carnage, or Ash Ketchum. The Twisted Savior has emerged. Entering fourth here, is it the Super Kick to Grimm? It's been a horrible spot to enter, not a great spot though. Here comes Wardlow. Backbreaker. Let's Gonna see, go as after long Carnage. As, as long as you're not. As long as you're not first. Especially when you're facing me. off against Wardlow first. Oh god. Dear god, face first goes Wardlow. It's Grim and Willow on the inside of the ring. As Grim just hammers his head down. Oh my god, the strength of Carnage. Is either Rollins or Ash Ketchum enters. This will also kind of give away who the number six entry will be. And a universe is by Carnage onto Wardlow. Is Rollins gonna come in, which means Ash Ketchum will be sixth. Is it's Wardlow uh, able to kick out of two? Pretty good for Ash Ketchum, considering he he's sucks. done nothing. <laughs> it's just he sucks straight up. Cut around to Willow by Carnage. Cover one, two, three. First guy eliminated will be Willow. Is it's a cover on Grim now? Bye, Willow. Kick out of two. 
roll up on Wardlow. One, two, kick out of two by Car or by Wardlow. I don't think it's gonna be that easy to take down Wardlow in this one. Wardlow and Rollins gonna go out as it's grim and Carnage is here comes Ash Ketchum. Pitch perfect moonsault by Carnage. That was beautiful. <laughs> All I have to say about that. Sling blade. Down goes Rollins. The chop. Nobody's gonna take be down. Around in this match at Hits all. the ropes. Sliding drop kick. Carnage possibly looking for all tied up. Going for it. Connects. Big time connection there. To the inside he goes. And now gonna go up top. Is her Karana on to Wardlow by Ash Ketchum on the outside. And a twisted roar on the inside to Grimm. Cover on Wardlow. Only a two count cover on Grimm. For the elimination. As in comes the architect Seth Rollins. And Carnage with that moonsault. Cover onto Rollins. One, two, kick out of two. Wardlow busted it open. Looked like he was at least. Unless that was this reflection or something, but it looked like Wardlow was busted open from the forehead. Oh god, roll up on Carnage all of a sudden out of the blue. Not even a one. Cover on Ash Ketchum, kick out too. Face first into that pod, and a German on the outside. Painful. <laughs> I mean, if Carnage wins this match, what does that have in stow for WrestleMania? He's already been in the main event as where Dawson hasn't, so that gives him the advantage right there. Yeah. He's no stranger to the main event, of course. And the FNX kicks will F N X F N X is it connects. Carnage, he's, he's no stranger to the big stage. He's been among the top and superstars that have main evented the show in general, so I'd say Carnage and Destroyer are the two main evented WWD the most amount of times. Dawson's been up there too. Uh, we've Dawson's seen. been up. Oh my god, what is Wardlow doing? Oh my god! Spear through the plexiglass on Ash Ketchum. Is this is a cover on Rollins by Carnage. One, yeah, two, kick out of two. But dear god, I think Ash Ketchum just got murdered. That didn't look very pleasing. Wardlow dragging a lifeless. Ash Ketchum. One, two, oh my god. Yikes. And Carnage is climbing the side and onto the top of that pod. Oh my god, from the top. Takes himself and Rollins out. Dear I'm god almighty. I'm As it's... Carnage to the top again. 450. One, two, three. Okay then. And Carnage taking out Wardlow. Neck hitting onto the steel there. One, two, kick out of two. Toss and Ash catch him back to the inside of the ring. To the top. And Carnage dropping down from the heavens. Twisted roar. One, two, three. It comes down to Carnage and Wardlow. One of these men oh, will go oh, on to headline yes. mania. Super kick to Wardlow. Would that be a way to make his and make a name for himself? Debut instantly go to the main event beating Carnage. That'd be
be huge for him. Chop down block, hits the ropes, running drop kick. Carnage looks a bit staggered though. Oh my god, where is he going? From the top of the pot, dear god almighty, Carnage okay. soars through the skies. Oh. Wow. Carnage soars through the sky like it's no nothing. No fear in that man. No fear whatsoever. The Twisted Savior looking for an all tied up connects. Carnage calling for the end. Cutter connect. No! Wardlow able to get out of it. Close line by Carnage. Carnage. Oh god. Flings Wardlow up and down. Whoa. Whips him into the corner. Carnage gonna try and pick him up, but Wardlow's strength is just too much. Oh god, close line. Wardlow missing a stomp, not sure how. It's the boot straight to the chest and a stomp. Can Wardlow pick up the win? Gonna over lift Carnage. up Carnage. Going for a power slam. Carnage able to get out of it though. Be a big one if he could. 450 doesn't connect. Is Carnage it would get out of whatever war that was looking for another all tied up? Could possibly <laughs> connect. <laughs> Connects with it. Carnage now. I don't know what Carnage is thinking. Stomp to Wardlow, to the top. Wardlow's chest is busted open even. Carnage is waiting for him to get up. Patiently waiting at that. Drop the kick. Connects with it now. And now to the top again, as it's a twisted roar that doesn't connect again. Headbutt now to Wardlow. Wardlow. Oh. Elbow straight to the face. Carnage throwing Wardlow into the corner and the elbow straight to the face again. And now Wardlow whips Carnage back first. Cover. Not even a one. It is not looking good for Wardlow right now. If, if he can't even get a one count there. Out of the outside. Now headbutt to Carnage. Nice. Whatever he was going for, not able to connect with it. And the universes does connect on the outside of the ring, however. Carnage calling for the cutter. This on the, the outside right of the ring, connects with it. Into the cover. One, two, three. Carnage moves on to the main event of WrestleMania once again to face Dawson and the winner of the Royal Rumble for the WWD Hounds He's Championship. Some of the highlights, the match there. Here's your winner and the man who will go on to the main event triple threat match for the WWE Hound Championship at WrestleMania. He is the Twisted Savior, Carnage. They're going to fly Carnage back over here for his tag team match. So let's carry on. The following contest is a Falls County Anywhere match for the WWD Monster Energy World Championship. First, make his way to the ring. 
the challenger. He is Adam Cole. Adam Cole, baby, is here. Of course, Adam Cole, undisputed era leader. Hasn't really done too much on WWD, but I mean, he's Adam Cole, baby. He doesn't really need to do much to be yeah, household name. To prove himself, yeah. Oh my god, MJF. Coming from the crowd with the title. Oh, he's of course gonna play dirty. Oh god. And a spear to the outside as MJF with a cheap attack when Adam Cole wasn't looking. A roll up on the outside of the ring. Adam Cole, not even a one. That went well for him. <laughs> Shoulder block by MJF. Kick. MJF getting a bit cocky as a cheap attack coming from the crowd. Adam Cole, of course, going up on the ring apron trying to do the boom taunt he always does, but oh god, MJF not letting him. MJF, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. I mean, he hasn't he hasn't been too bad since debuting on WWD. He hasn't been here long though, so I mean, yeah, we have yet to see his full potential. We will eventually. Though. <laughs> oh yeah, I highly doubt Max will go anywhere. He's probably gonna resign for season three. He'd be stupid if he didn't. Oh god, they're taking this crowd. It is Falls Count Anywhere. This is legal. Those fans. Those fans got a pretty good deal for their seats. <laughs> the action going on right in front of them. Is. Maxwell Jacob Freeman MJF just beating down Adam Coles. They're gonna continue brawling out into the crowd. MJF, big forearmed Adam Cole. He can no oh, there finally Cole with some offense on MJF. Uppercut no. This has been mostly all max for this match so far. It's like Adam Cole can't get any sort of offense in. MJF throws Adam Cole chest first into that table. MJF waiting for Adam Cole to get up, it looks like. Oh god. Max with the baseball bat. Oh god. Echoing off the trash can and now hitting Adam Cole in the back with it. My goodness. Is MJF. Oh god, Adam Cole able to get some offense in. MJF looks like he's kind of overthinking and or not overthinking but rethinking this uh, attack outside. Yeah. Gonna go back to the inside of the ring. This, this match can actually be pretty match can end anywhere. They could, for all we know, they could make their way down to Chicago and be inside the Royal Rumble arena. Indeed, indeed. DDT by Adam Cole. No, that, now that I'm looking, that guy kind of look like the man who wrote the Taco Bell saga to you, or am I just going crazy? What? That guy right there, sitting in, you see him? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he kind of does look familiar. I wonder where we've seen him before. Probably have, somewhere. Oh, I, it, it's almost like that's the guy who made Carnage's theme song for WWD, uh, 
yeah. held, held in the bank for that 30-minute Iron Man match. Too, right? Yeah. Oh god, submission by MJF here on to Adam Cole. Gonna release it though. Adam Cole whips him into the corner. Gonna put him on the top rope as a super kick. Goodness, this vicious super kick right there. Was all MJF, now it's all Adam Cole's. The knee straight out of the head, Adam Cole showboating. Of course, he's got to get, got to get cocky. It's not Adam Cole. Got the crowd him. behind him, though. MJF with a roll up. One, two. Oh my god, near count there. If that's the way MJF would have won, that would have been a huge upset. Big upset. Very. MJF gonna put Adam Cole on the top rope now. Oh god, what is MJF doing? Oh my uh -oh. god, no. Oh no. Superplex! Oh! Yikes! And MJF to the middle rope. We don't see this from him often. It's a moonsault! Dear god almighty, oh, cover! Oh, One, god. two, Kick out by Adam Cole at two. Are you joking? MJF's going top rope. We never see Max do this. From the top, Adam Cole. Oh! oh tried he's... moving out the way and still got connected. MJF not able to get all of it. This looks like he's going back up top. Going to try it again. His power right now. Connects. Too bad MJF doesn't have Wardlow by his side this time. MJF gonna flex straight into the face of Adam Cole. May have backfired. Adam Cole shoves him off. Super kick. No, not able to connect with it. MJF gets whipped over the top rope. Punch misses. And MJF takes down Adam Cole. And now lifts him up. Working on that arm. Stomp straight to it. MJF looks like he's getting worn out. Adam Cole able to shove off MJF. And MJF with a crossbody. Now gonna lift Adam Cole up and raking at the eyes. Goodness, he's vicious. Over the top goes Adam Cole again. MJF showboating. Could cost him, but... MJF showboating, but to the point he can keep his eyes on Adam Cole. Oh, but he just turned his back on him. Adam Cole back up at MJF sees him stomp straight to the back picks him up raking at the eyes once again dear god Goodness. MJF just over and over Adam Cole Adam shoulder breaker calling for the finish could be looking for the boom super kick Adam Cole connects with it. Cover. One. One. Not even a two oh, count. Wow. Wow. Adam Cole hits the boom, and MJF kicks out at two, not even two. Oh, kidding. Maybe MJF really is better at us than we know it. Maybe <laughs> we just don't accept it. Is that submission hold on it? Uh, Adam Cole now. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Let's not get ridiculous. And he once again is able to reverse whatever MJF had in store there. As it's a pump handle slam. Cover. One. Two. Kick out of two by Adam Cole. Adam Cole staying in this match here. 
I mean, I don't blame these guys for giving it all they got. You really don't have that many chances to screw up and still punch your ticket to Mania. Yeah. Tickets are running slow. Your chance of getting into the show is very slim to none now. As Adam Cole gets dropped by MJF. Wow. You, I mean, if you're a champion, I would say you, one, you probably do. One, two, three. MJF retains and more than likely keeps his ticket for now. Of course, we know lose that we know every title will be defended at Mania, and then there is one extra slot. Which who knows who, what match that's going to be, or what's going to happen there. Here's your winner and still the Monster Energy World Champion. He would like to remind everybody that he's better than you, and you know it. He is Maxwell Jacob Freeman, M J F. We get it, Maxwell. MJF, showboating and cocky as always, as let's get in to the next matchup. The following contest is a fatal four-way Hell in a Cell match for the Enigmatic Legacy Championship. First, make his way to the ring, he is W. Morrissey. W. Morrissey, you know, he looks awfully familiar. He, he does. It's it's like he's seven foot tall and you can't teach that. I mean, have yeah. we seen him before? Certified G. Yeah, yeah. I mean, bona fide stud. How like you know? How are you doing? How are you doing, Jimmy? Well, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, Bob? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. It's four Goliaths about to go at it here inside the cell. And next he is Chewbacca. It hasn't done much. It hasn't done much, but it no, he, didn't he win much. the Rumble last year? He might have. Did he? I I think he did. I, don't even remember. I want to say he walked out champ. Oh. And next he is the monster among men, Braun Strowman. That's a uh, tower of a man. This match is going to be made. I hope towers. they reinforce the ring. <laughs> the only time I saw Strowman was when he was with Bray for that little bit, but I mean, dear God, still a Tower of a Man is here comes the champ. Everybody's favorite. Yeah! Optimus Prime! Optimus Prime! 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 And next he is the Enigmatic Legacy Champion. He is Optimus Prime! Yeah! Prime! 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 Prime comeback story of the decade. Won the Enigmatic Legacy Championship. And yeah. finally, turning his career around. The greatest of all time, Optimus Prime. That rhymed, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Prime <laughs> is going to the top rope. Top rope Prime! He tried going to the top rope and fell. Oh, there goes Chewbacca. No, nobody said he was great. Didn't you just say he was the greatest? No, well, shut up, okay? okay Bob, oh shut god, Strom is sent straight into the cell. Wow. <laughs> you know how long? How long till the cell breaks? We know this isn't. This doesn't hold normal competitors, let alone for. No, I I don't have a guess. Okay, it could break at any point, any moment. I don't know if they they made this. They, they probably made it out of titanium at night. <laughs> I don't know if they made this out of like vibranium or like some indestructible metal. This should have been made out of like freaking obsidian. It's primed as abusing Strowman. Oh god. My goodness. That didn't take long. My goodness. The 
is Strowman going to fight back against Prime here? And now Prime back to the inside of the ring. Shoulder block. Down goes the W. Morrissey. As a DDT to Chewbacca. Strowman getting back to his feet as Prime. No, not able to plan him. As these four behemoths are back into the ring. This is like a battle of the giants. Is <laughs> Prime cover on W Morrissey one, two, nope, not even two. Double X handle is it's Prime going to pick up Morrissey. Prime with a DDT. Goodness. Now Optimus Prime picks up W. Morrissey. Plants him right back down. Cover one, two, oh, not three. Not able to get it in time. Close but no cigars. The roll up by Prime on Chewbacca. One, two. Chewbacca able to reverse through. Kick out of one. Prime launches Chewbacca and shoulder first he goes. Straight into that ring post. Strowman running power slam. Cover on Morrissey gonna try and steal the win from Strowman. One, two, three, able to do it. Prime steals the win. Here's your winner and still the Ignite Medical Legacy Champion, Optimus Prime. Prime defends his title once again, the streak of Optimus carries on. Can he hold the gold till Mania? Who knows? It's a Mania sign loomering in the background. So let's get on to the next match. I believe this is our tag title match. Jimmy had to leave, but we're ready for tag team action. The following contest is a two-on-two -two tag team match for the WWD Hounds Championship. Or the WWD Hounds Tag Team Championship, sorry. First, make his run of the ring. He is one half of the danger zone. Max Danger! Max make his word of the ring, course the ladder match, way to win, climb the ladder, grab the tag team championships. So it looks like Chris, or uh, Max and Chad coming out in a black and gold attire. Trying to s maybe calling or symbolizing that they're going to win, but I highly doubt it. And his tag team partner, he is Chad. Danger! And their opponents are gonna be one tough challenge to try and beat.
and their opponents. The team of the Twisted Savior Carnage and the Destroyer DL. Together they are the WWD Tag Team Champions, FNX. The Tag Team Champions, FNX. Destroyer competing in the Rumble match later on. Carnage already competing and winning the Elimination Chamber match. Punching his ticket to the main event of WrestleMania. Carnage in the Red Hood themed attire. DL in the Carlos. It's like a blast. Back to 2019. All over again. Blast of nostalgia. Taking a time machine. Not just an old rivalry reunited. For an old title that was honestly more prestigious than the Hounds Championship. But you also got old attires. All of it given a feel of 2019 all over again as Max is going top rope straight off the bat. What is he doing? Oh my god. Missing a Huracurana. Of course, back in 2019, over on the RHG channel, Chad Danger would pose as a fake Carnage Obliterator Carnage, and Max would pose as a fake Overlord, so... They'd team up with the likes of Spawn, Venompool, Harrowbrian, The Fiend, of course, is the leader of that. We've mentioned it many times, both in this season and previous seasons, that was the biggest rivalry ever. The Fiend, Spawn, Venompool, Harold Bryan, Chad, Max, and Chris Danger. These guys ran rampant on WWD and RHG for months, causing chaos and destruction destroying anybody in their path I mean like it was chaos and it would all come to an end at season one of WWD Wrestlemania spawn or not spawn uh, destroyer and carnage would end up taking on the fiend in a two on one elimination handicap match the fiend would take out the destroyer or the overlord sorry and Carnage would end up picking up the win, eliminating the Fiend, and bringing the rivalry to an end once and for all. Sure, setting up that ladder in the middle of the ring, though. Max is climbing, and Destroyer not gonna allow him. Oh God! Carnage just took out the ladder, and a backdrop by Destroyer. Sure, it looked like it was calling for shots there. Insult to injury connects. And now Carnage gonna go for the assault with the ladder not able to. Luther is press straight to the destroyer. Oh, ladder straight to the face of Max. Is Chad going after Carnage there? Oh god. DL gonna ram Max shoulder first into the corner. And now a stomp. Oh, and Max getting saved by Chad. Chad gonna set that ladder up in the middle of the ring now. Gonna be looking to climb. Hands on the title. Of course, you only need to grab one, then the other's just handed to you, basically. Carnage and Shore going for a double team here. Taking out Max is or taking out Chad as he lands on Max. And Max climbing to the top, going after DL is there he goes. Max with the hands on the title. Chad gonna get rid of Carnage to the outside of the ring. Danger zone. Looking in a good position here. As 
as Max has a title. The Danger Zone does what very few say they've been able to. The Danger Zone. Oh my god. Here are your winners in the new WWD Hounds Tag Team Champions. The team of Chad and Max Danger. Uh, Danger Zone. That is huge. Very few say they've beaten FNX, but Chad and Max can say they've done it. Let's move on to our next contest. As Destroyer's got to get destroyed for the Rumble, dear God. The following contest is the steel cage match for the United States Championship. First, because we're to the ring, the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri. He is the Viper. Randy Orton The Viper is here Challenger for the United States Championship. This should be a good match Because his opponent is bringing up our old rivalry old tag team partners old friends Now gonna do battle in a steel cage and his opponent, he is the United States Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. That beautiful United States Championship. Honestly, my favorite title design on WWD, period. I got all the championships we've had, that is my favorite. Glorious title. Up for grabs in a steel cage. Randy, Cody Rhodes, this is underway. Crowd getting behind Orton. Running Bulldog by Rhodes. Of course, Rhodes, second generation superstar. Randy, third generation. Randy's son of the uh, famous Cowboy Bob Orton. Cody Rhodes, son of the famous Dusty Rhodes. Forearm into the corner. Of course, Cody also has a brother, Gold Dust, and a Moonsault. Duck under by Orton. Oh. Both men collide into one another and it's crossbody by Rhodes. Cody taunt and Orton a little bit. And oh god. Drops Orton. So it looks like he's gonna be looking to climb the cage. Orton back up to his feet though. Not gonna allow Cody to escape that easily. Rhodes goes after Orton and now drop kick. This Cody could be looking for it. Crossroads! Crowd chanting Randy, but I don't think Randy's got much more in him after a crossroads. Never mind, he's getting to his feet. Orton getting to his feet and gonna stop Cody. Gonna drag Rhodes down from that cage now. Rhodes. Oh, shot to the weight or to the gut there. Knocking down Randy Orton is it's an elbow from the side. 
from the top rope, side of the cage, whatever you want to call it. Rhodes looking to climb once more. Does the Viper, and then the Viper's got more in him. He's going to try and stop Rhodes. Back up to his feet. Randy not going to allow Rhodes to win that easily. Going to try and climb, but I think it's it. Rhodes wins. Cody Rhodes retains his WWD United States Championship. Here's your winner and still a United States Champion, American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. So let's carry on to our next match.